everybody, welcome back, Nicholas Grant Doors. I'm gonna go fishing again, but today I have got this little, like, a fluke or something. Not sure what kind that is. Got a nice little hook on it, and it's got a rattler bobber, a bobber, <laughs> a rattling bobber with a uh, just a tiny little sinker on it. And uh, good news. I am seeing fish come up everywhere today, so I'm hoping I can catch a big one on this. Throw it over there. Hope this turns up well. It's a different kind of angle. I'm getting a chest mount soon, so you'll be able to see it differently. Be nice if I can catch a nice fish on this. Keep this down. I'm gonna jig it a little bit. Try not to make a disturbance on the top. Now every time I get bass, guys, it's like right here. I think there's a canal or something. And they just, they sit there and they don't come out. Really nice out right now. I, w I would have done the camping challenge tonight with a tarp, but just, uh, I got school in the morning, and I'm allowed to do that on a school night, so. This weekend, it's, it's going to be tons of rain, but in the 50s. So I'll do it this weekend. Okay, you see the bobbers over there now. Now, it's a little bit lower over there. Well, that water's pulling it. I'm going to pull against. Yeah, see all the little fish? Let me adjust that. There's tons of little fish over there. Yeah, you can see it over there. I'm not sure if you can, but they're jumping up. Might not get any, though, because it looks like a bunch of small fish, but it'd be nice if I can catch a big fish on a decently sized lure. No bait or anything on this. Let's go over by the waterfall. Yeah, it's a little bit closer. Give that a little bit of a pull. There's a cat coming over. Yeah, the the snow just melted, guys. It's kind of it's kind of blurry here. I'll keep this video nice and short so if I don't catch anything. But usually I catch them right there or right here or by the that's where the minnows are. The minnows are by that opening over there. I'm going to be doing a minnow trapping series by the way. Minnow and crayfish. That's also coming. Yeah, I'm going to be minnow trapping. They're there on the road. I'll travel with my four-wheeler or my mini bike and I'll set the traps I and mean, check them every day. I don't need a uh, tag on them here in PA, so I can just get as many as I want and go ahead and go put them wherever I want. So that should be pretty cool. And I'd like to build a, because uh, there's not, hold on, get that off the bank. I'm going to let that drift down. There's not many crayfish here, so what I'm going to do is, up there there's a like a shallow point. There's tons of water that flows through. And I'm going to get a bunch of rocks from the fields, because there's piles of rocks in the fields from farming. And uh, fill that with rocks, because it's shallow, and then get a bag of the Louisiana crayfish that are still alive, pour them in there, and I'll have food there for them. That'd be pretty cool to farm for crayfish, because they're pretty good to eat. You can hear the rattling bobber, just might be too cloudy today, guys. As soon as I get a metal detector too, I was going to do metal detector Monday. 
along with my already scheduled uh, target shooting Tuesday. Yeah, I wonder if it's just too cloudy today, guys. I'm going to jig this a little bit, because it is a jig after all. The thing is here, it's kind of shallow in spots, and it likes to get hooked up if you don't have a bobber. So I have to have a bobber. Just give that a little pull. See right here, you can see the jig. That's that little canal. And there's some seaweed on here, or algae. Yeah, once again, guys, I'm going to be getting a uh, chest mount soon. And also, we're not just, I'm not just going to fish here. I'm going to go to Lake Pima Tuning here in Pennsylvania and fish crappy and perch and all kinds. And then I'll go to cricks around here and go for stock trout. I don't eat stock trout, but they're, they're fun to catch. I've had them before, but uh, the only way to really smoke them they're, they're a decent taste. And there's bites on that, by the way. They're a decent taste, but uh, it's just something about trout. Rainbow trout's good, but, you know, stalker trouts, eh, they're not really, not really that good. A lot of people like them, though, so. Yeah, but I'm just not gonna fish here, because this is kind of boring, really. I mean, if I'm not catching stuff, and I know I slam them in the lakes and stuff, I mean, I won't keep this going, only unless it's sunny out, because when it's sunny out here, you slam anything with any, any lure or anything. Slam. Slam them. Yeah. We'll do one more cast, guys. I just don't think today's a good day for them. There's tons of minis, but I just don't see any. That's a good cast. Now, er sorry guys, it cut off there. I don't know why it keeps shutting off, but yeah, two wild ducks landed here and they were diving and everything. And they, I think they took some minnows out. <laughs> Should have seen them. They're like this small and they were just diving right under and eating tons of minnows. If I don't keep the population down, they will. So I don't got to worry about that. My cat is still, there's a catfish. It's still trying to get my lure. It sees the bobber and it's trying to get it. I'm going to have to call it quits, guys. Just no bites. No nothing. See that over there, though? Looks like a bass jumped up. Hold on. That was a terrible cast, by the way. He's over there, so I didn't spook him. Right where I casted to the left a little bit, he's just splashed. You should see the, uh, you can watch the bobber. The, the crappie we get at this lake, they're like this big. You can get them that big. They're like, I know a normal eating size is that big for other stuff, but for the crappie there, they're like this big, all of them. <laughs> they're, they're absolutely huge. Can't wait to get more of them. They're good fish fries. I'm more of a pan fish guy. I don't really go after trophy fish. I really don't. I mean, I, I don't like the taste of most of them, so I mainly just go for pan fish because they're delicious. Crappie's my favorite, by the way, or crappie, however you say that in different states. Because I know, I believe the actual way to say it is crappie, but at least here we call it crappie. There's a big debate over that, by the way. <laughs> Crappy kind of sounds weird to me. Crappy also doesn't sound good, so. Both names aren't really good. Alright guys, I'm not going to bore you anymore. I just, today's not a good day for fish. It's full of minnows, but if you can see, I don't know if you can pick it up on here. The water is just, I can't see more than a foot down, and this is usually clear water. So, yeah, I guess that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and, well, how, how am I going to say this, guys? Because now we have a name, the Green Beans. How am I going to say this?
thanks for watching Green Beans. <laughs>